Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the oh so trendy yellow eye makeup. I have a little bit of PTSD for this video because I filmed this look last summer. This yellow eye makeup that is now on trend. And my camera completely, or not my camera, my laptop completely crapped out on me and that's when I stopped filming YouTube because I couldn't film anymore because I couldn't afford a laptop and yeah my laptop just wouldn't take any more heavy files because it was old AF so here I am refilming this yellow eye look I am really excited because it is on trend now so maybe it's better I don't know maybe it's better to film it now but it's still a favorite look of mine and I think it's really pretty for summer so I'm gonna film it again Luckily, the palette that I'm using is still available. It is the Yes Please palette by ColourPop. Super affordable. It's actually on sale. I checked today. Um, on sale for 12 bucks, which is like 15 Canadian. Now that color is such like a, a thing for eyelids this year. Um, and this summer, I definitely want to play around a little bit more with that. So maybe a couple more looks. If there's anything that you want to see, any specific colors, just let me know in the comments below and I'd, I'd love to go play around with those if there's anything that anyone really wants to know about. I am just starting with the Laura Mercier, what is this called? Tinted Moisturizer. I'm tired today so my brain is off, but let's, let's do this thing. I always use my hands for this. I just think it goes on much better. And I've already prepped my skin with... Um, I just used the vitamin E moisture cream from the body shop. It's just a really light moisturizer that I like, the body shop one. Um, I like to use that for the summer because it's not super heavy. And I honestly have just been using tinted moisturizer for the longest time now as my everyday base just because I personally really like the way that skin looks. Like I want it to look as natural. That's my base. And then going with another sort of creamy, like lighter product is just the Glossier. Sorry, I'm just checking that I'm in focus because my camera's been a butt. Um, concealer, stretch concealer. And this is also my everyday concealer. I love this stuff. Also use my hands. I just think the product melts way better into your fingers than onto the skin. I just lightened my camera a little bit. Or my lighting. Wow, I told you my brain doesn't work today. That is concealer under the eyes, and then I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. That was in the color uh, Light Fair 10, the Glossier. I've done a makeup tutorial in a while, clearly. I don't remember how to tell you things. And then I have a little bit of acne scarring, as per usual. I get, I don't really get like acne on the daily. I'll get a couple little spots here and there, but I get cystic acne, and it's bad. And when it happens, it happens, and it just sucks. And it leaves my skin scarred, because I have very sensitive skin. And I'm pale AF, so you can really see it. It's like Snow White over here. But the, uh, in my nightly routine, I'll link it. Um, the vitamin, no, not the vitamin E. The vitamin C and collagen repair I use from Ula Henriksen really, really helps with my acne scarring. Next, I'm going in with Milk Makeup Matte Bronzer. This is the color Baked, yeah. And this is a creamy product. I'm sure you've seen it all over YouTube. This is not brand new, but brand new to my everyday, and I've been using it every single day. And this is the e.l.f selfie ready stippling brush and I just buff that in and I love 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 the way this product sits on the skin I like the way it looks with paler skin it's not too too orange my next like glowy face product that I've been into is the sunset strip color from uh, nude sticks another Canadian company and then I just use my fingers for this. And this is just such a warm, like, coral for summer that I'm really digging. And the way that it sits on the skin 
with the Milk Makeup Bronzer is just, it's everything for me right now. I like that sort of sunburnt fake look because I don't want to actually sunburn my face because that would be bad. A little on my nose there. And when I'm doing like a colored eye look, like specifically yellow, it's quite bold, quite extreme. I want to keep the skin just like super natural and this would be my natural look in the summer, like kind of flushed, kind of bronzed. Just kind of faking it right now. I just love, I love the way the skin looks. It just looks fresh and it looks super natural. I am going to do the brows now and I'm also just going to keep them really natural. I'm not going to like really film, film them, fill them. I'm just going to use the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is the color 3, I'm pretty sure. And of course, I'm going to backcomb my brows because I want them to be fluffy. I love this product. It's so good. If you have, like, fluffier eyebrows and you don't really want to add too much color or pigment to them, this is a really good product for you. Just brush it through. That's fast. Like, I... Do my everyday makeup in like five minutes for real. Pretty sure I have a video on my like that and the eye cards. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight, not too much. I'm really not like a crazy highlight person, but I like just a, oh hello. Ah! I like a small pop just to look natural. That uh, kind of in a C shape around there. This is Lunch Money from Colourpop, well loved as you can see. I like to put a little on my nose because I like that little cute button kind of pop. <laughs> and then Cupid's bow. So I've just brought you in a little bit closer just so you can kind of see the eyes a little bit better. I am going to put a little bit of the NARS concealer under my eyelids just to prep them a little bit so the eyeshadow will pop more. But this eyeshadow really is like super pigmented. I'm just gonna dip a little bit on my brush. This is kind of like a flat shadow brush. I like to start with a light amount of product and build it up. I don't want to be like too over the top, right off the top. And then this time I'm not gonna tap the product off when I dipped in the second time just to like really get the pigment on there and I'm just tapping it in I don't want too much like fallout on the bottom especially because we already did our base if you wanted like a really perfect look don't do your base first of course and then I'm just gonna keep building it up and I'm just buffing it lightly into the crease and packing more color onto the lid I want a little bit of a cat eye vibe so Dragging it out a little bit. And then just using a clean fluffy brush to buff out the edges. Just soften that a bit. And again, just lightly starting uh, just a little bit of product on the other side. So pretty. Ugh, I love it. I hope other people like this. And then taking that clean fluffy brush just to kind of buff. Those edges out. I just really like this warmer um, yellow on brown eyes too. I think it just picks up really nicely. I'm taking this flat brush from e.l.f. Just an eyeshadow brush. It's quite dense and short. And I'm going to run it under the lash line because I want them to connect and I just think it looks pretty. And then I think if I remember Correctly. I use the color Spoiled, which is this like gold fleck kind of shimmer, and I light, 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 lightly tapped it on the lid just to give it that like slightly shimmery vibe, but not too much. You like probably can't even tell on camera, but it just helps it pop a little bit. Yeah, like it, love it. And then I'm going to go back in with Lunch Money and do the inner corner highlight. And Lunch Money is a super shock shadow. I don't know if you guys have ever used ColourPop, but it's like a wet, which is really cool. I just 
love these super shock shadows lunch money is like one of the best universal highlights from them it like has a gold undertone but it's kind of silvery like warm and cold it's just really good i love it for the inner corner like it just wakes you up it looks natural so that's the eyeshadow and now i'm just gonna add a little bit of mascara I'm just gonna pull this out now if you wanted it to pop a little bit more i would probably add like a black liner if you wanted it to be more dramatic but i don't i want this to be like a fresh wearable day look especially if you're doing yellow for the first time or like colored shadows for the first time maybe just stick to the one color throw some mascara on it's not too much in your face it's quite simple just get used to it and of course I'm using the glossy lash slick if you know me this is all I use I am like pretty pretty obsessed with this mascara for like everyday use so good it just hugs onto every lash and it's super lengthening it's not like gonna give you any sort of fullness but remember to switch your mascara wand back and forth it's so buildable like there's so many people that complain about this mascara and I don't understand it because it's so good and it doesn't run down my face or transfer at all I've worn it summer and winter I just think it's the best and then to top it off, I'm just going to use the Vivid Matte Liquid Lip in the color Nude Flush. This is basically just like my lips but better. Which is what I want because I want the eyes to do all the talking. If you want to see how I curl my hair, that'll be up in the eye cards all right now. Right now. I really tried to nail that Scottish accent when I was in Scotland never worked never never be good at that one okay guys that's the finished look that is the yellow eyeshadow super simple like really that would take me five minutes to do if I were just doing my makeup and not talking at a camera um, I'm really digging this yellow eyeshadow I think it's really really pretty it's super simple and like it's not as in your face as you would think it's not as like bright and intense um, and like overpowering as you would think if you're putting yellow on your lids so that's kind of cool it's kind of nice you can like get away with some color if you're wanting to try it for the first time and like don't want to be too out there so just to mention like really obsessed with my nails and the eyeshadow I think they go really well together it's kind of a look really into it <laughs> if you guys are gonna try yellow eyeshadow let me know in the comments below I'd love to know how many of us are actually willing to put yellow on our eyeballs it's kind of a wild color but i'm kind of digging it remember to like the video down below if you liked it hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for any more videos along these lines thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you all in the next one bye this is so good look at this okay bye